Say, but I just thank God for just being such an awesome God to me for his grace and his mercies and his blessings. They're literally they're new every morning. Great is his faithfulness and God has just been more than awesome to me. He said in his word, if we delight ourselves in him, he'll give us the desires of our heart. And that's what I encourage each and every one of us to do. Delight yourself in God and he'll give you the desires of your heart. All I ask every day is for me to walk in his way, walk in his light, and to do his will. I pray that he'll continue to use me as his hand extended. And a lot of times, you know, every morning I'm getting ready to go to work or in the afternoon and I'll be watching something, either Joel Osteen or T.D. Jakes or just listening to an inspirational quote or I hear a song. And I know sometimes, you know, no, no man is perfect. And I know sometimes I send certain things and some people think, oh, I don't listen to this one or I don't listen to that one. But you can't keep your eye on the man. You have to keep your eye on God. And God made each and every one of us. And each and every one of us serves a purpose. And I know as much as people say, Joel Osteen this or Joel Osteen that, I can tell you Joel Osteen calms me down. Amen. He gives me just a peace. Everybody has their purpose. Different preachers ah. preach different thing. But when I know that I have to go to the office and I'm gonna come up against obstacles, I listen to him and he calms me down and he gives me a peace. And when I need some extra knowledge, I listen to T.D. Jakes and or Pastor, you know, Pastor Jackson from church. I have different things that I've been listening for, to for the past three years. And I listen to the song every morning, but most of all, I listen to the Bible Is app. I just finished the entire book of Psalms, I think for the third or something time. And now I'm listening to Proverbs. And I would encourage everybody to listen to Proverbs because if you listen to Proverbs, it tells us everything about how to live, how to talk, what to say, what not to say, what to do, and what not to do. And I know each and every day I just pray and ask God to give him, give me a heart like his. And sometimes when I'm listening to these things upstairs, he would put each and every one of you in my heart. And sometimes I'll send things in a group text. And then if I feel like this person needs it or that person needs it, I'll send it. And sometimes I will be afraid to send it because I don't want anybody to think I'm trying to tell them something, but like you said, Nardia, you have to give tough love when it's needed because who the Lord love it, the Lord chasten it. And it's friends, we're not real friends if we don't tell people what they need to hear. You understand there's a time and place for everything, but I think you know we need to lift you up in the good and in the bad too, we need to lift you up just the same, but whatever we need to do to fix the things, to keep it going, we need to do that. Or pastor that comes with Bramal and I, 21 years ago, when we were getting married, he said if two people are living together and nobody is, is, if teeth and tongue don't meet, like how they say, if we don't get into an argument, then two idiots are living together because somebody's suppressing something. So we're not telling anybody to kick and beat up each other, but if, your husband cook rice and peas for you, you don't like rice and peas. Honey, I really appreciate the dinner, but next time stew peas would work. You have to say what you need to say and don't, because then you're gonna get rice and peas every day and you can't complain because you never, you understand? So, and even my children, they know. Right, Kayla? Yeah. Right, Kalia? Right, JR? They know. <laughs> they know I love them, but I don't love them. How do I say now? I don't. Love them that much that I'm not gonna tell them, baby, your room needs to be clean right now. You understand? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna love you too much to overlook your flaws. And if I drape you up, right, Agnes? Mm -hmm. I'm draping you up because I love you, and I'm gonna drape you up in love, and I'm gonna drape it, right, Mikey? And then I'm gonna hug you afterwards, right? <laughs> right, mommy, mommy, you know, right? So we do it. We have to. We have to do. We have to. A, a friend. A friend in need is a friend indeed. And and yeah, and I love and love it at all times. And one time I heard T D Jakes T D Jakes said his wife said a lady went someplace in a dress. And literally T D Jakes said his wife said, 
that lady, either she has no friends or no mirror. Because apparently the lady didn't look right. And you know, sometimes if you don't look right, Brother Chris, then you need to tell it clearly, put it in a different style. You understand? I went upstairs and I tried on three dresses and I asked Nikki to help me to pick which one. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that sometimes when people say things to us, if you know that it's coming from the right place, from the right heart, then don't take it personally. But if it hurts your feelings, then it's good to let you know. You see, just like what you said, Martin, just it's good, it good to let people know what you're thinking. I don't know why I'm saying all of what I'm saying right now, but that's what God fixed on my heart, so I'm just speaking freely. But we need to just continue to love each other, especially our family, because I, it, I, I find it amazing that a man and a woman can find each other, strangers, strangers, and become such good friends and live such long time with each other and just continue. It's, that, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a natural thing, but it is a God thing because he's the one that created marriage, right? So how can two strangers come together and literally become one and go from there. So I'm just encouraging everybody tonight to just continue to love each other and just to pray for one another and the family that prays together stays together and the family that laughs together stays together too. And we need to check in on each other because even when I talk to any one of my children, right Kayla, and they get mad, I still go in the room and call them and tell them, I love you. But I need to, you understand? I want you to be the best woman you can be. You'll get the toughest love from mommy. I said I don't want nobody else to correct you, so I'm gonna correct you. I'm gonna tell you the shoes go here, or the plate go here, or do that, or spread this better. I'm gonna teach you because I don't want anybody else outside, you know, talking about you behind your back. So if I tell you something it's because I love you and I want what's best for you and to know that it's coming from my heart and, you know, I don't know. I'm talking too much, but in which way, I just thank God for another year. I just thank God for his blessings upon me. I thank God for beautiful family. I honestly did not expect this party because <laughs> we've had so many parties to, you know, together to, uh, already this year. But we're two or, get, two or three together in, you know. His name. In his name. He's in our midst. And I just feel like every time we get together here, we get a, it's almost like a, a, a family retreat. It's a, it's a friend retreat. It's a marriage retreat. It's a, Everything. It's a laughing comedy tonight retreat. It's uh, everything. And it, it's just a blessing that God blessed us with this house that we can come together like this in such a fashion and just have good fun and meet with each other and greet with each other.